from the Tribune News Network. This is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. As Prime Minister Minutes prepares to make some major changes to the restrictions for fully vaccinated coronavirus persons, there's another push for persons to go out and get vaccinated. It's coming from the director of the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, Dr. Carissa Antian. This is what she said in the weekly PAHO webinar about vaccine hesitancy. I want to remind citizens that the vaccines authorized by WHO and delivered through COVAX have been thoroughly assessed by experts. So when it is your turn to get vaccinated, embrace what's available to you and don't delay your vaccination. Getting vaccinated as soon as you're eligible is the best way to protect yourself and your community. That message aimed at the entire region. Just over 50,000 persons here have had their first dose. Health officials want that number to go up. Meantime, they're reporting another 17 confirmed cases for Tuesday in the country, 14 in the capital. Cases also reported in Grand Bahama, Bimini, and Andros, one each. More deaths confirmed. A 38-year-old Bimini woman is the latest victim. That takes the death toll to 240 now, with still more than 20 cases under investigation. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Payment coming for health care workers who stepped up to deal with the initial response to the coronavirus outbreak in the country. Health Minister Wells confirming in the House that 143 workers will be paid a total of $640,000. $640,000. Tourism Minister Diago is trying to resolve that Cabbage Beach access controversy. He is urging the company involved to take another look at the situation. The access was blocked and Venice properties were moved off that beach. The company involved Access Industries has released a statement saying safety concerns during construction prompted their closure of the beach access through its property. Police now confirming that there was a murder on St. James Road here in the capital over the weekend, not reported by police because it didn't come to them through regular channels. According to them, the victim identified as 29-year-old Francisco Smith. Police now working that case and two other murders reported since last weekend. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper. On the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at Tribune 242 Dot com. Now the Tribune's overnight AccuWeather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. That system to the north is clearing out now partly cloudy tonight. Overnight lows in the upper 70s and low 80s. 79 at Freeport, 79 in the capital, 82 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds falling to light and variable overnight. The sea's three feet or less. Next tide is a low around 8 o'clock this evening. Friday's forecast, partly sunny and warm. Ice in the upper 80s, snow systems in the tropics to be concerned about right now. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. World News headlines, U.S. President Biden now back in Washington following his first international trip as president. His officials are calling his meeting with Russian President Putin a success. The two leaders agreed to work together in areas of mutual interest. Major coronavirus concerns for Africa, less than 1% of the continent's 1.3 billion people have been vaccinated, and increased cases are now being reported in at least a dozen countries. Health professionals in Africa are saying the continent is in the middle of a third wave of the virus, and things could get out of hand if more people are not vaccinated. 
Sports Notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. There's soccer on TV tonight. That major international tournament going on in Europe continues. John Quell Jones now in Europe to play in the Euro Basketball Championships for Bosnia. The Tribune Sports will follow. Major League Baseball, Jazz and the Marlins off today, heading to Chicago. They open a series for the Cubs beginning tomorrow. NBA playoffs tonight. The Nets and the Bucks play Game 6 in Milwaukee. Brooklyn moves on with a win tonight. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.